Hello and welcome to Lockdown Learning with Tragic O'Hara. Today uh, we're going to give some AR a go, um, augmented reality. So if you've played um, Pokemon Go or whatever the Ghostbusters equivalent of that was, and I think there was a Jurassic Park one, Jurassic World, augmented reality is when um, a 3D object is put into our reality but through a smart device. Probably should have googled that. Let's google it. Let's read the definition. In fundamental terms, the expression augmented reality, often abbreviated to AR, refers to a simple combination of real and virtual computer generated worlds. I think my definition was better. <laughs> Basically, it puts uh, digital objects into a real setting for us to then look at, essentially. The program that we're going to use today to have a first kind of go at augmented reality is um, an app called Adobe Aero. Now Adobe Aero is only available for iOS right now so you can do this on your iPad or you can do it on your iPhone. I checked their site and they say that they are currently working on a, an Android version um, but right now it's only it's only iOS. But we'll have a look anyway because eventually I think they will bring us out for Android, hopefully. So when you open up your app this is going to be a really weird one to film because you'll see both at the same time, I suppose. When you open up your app, this is what it looks like, okay? Now, we're going to create a new project, um, which is down here on the left-hand side. So when you hit create new project, what you need to do is take your, de your device and it's going to find the surface that you want to work on. You hold it up and let it find the surface. I think it's because it's white. I don't think it's going to work because this is white. Hmm, where's where my black card went? Let's see if this helps. Something different rather than a big piece. Let's see if this works. Thank you. There, that's better. Okay, so it doesn't work particularly well on white backgrounds. If you don't have a half finished ca canvas of an anglerfish, I think that's an anglerfish, you can use something else. It'll work in your carpet, it's just because I've got a silly white surface. Um, so this is what you'll see with this pin. And what this is doing is just mapping the a layer. You can do this with walls, you can do it on the ceiling. Um, but what this is doing is just creating a, a surface that then I can track onto. So, down in the left hand side, the left, well down there, that plus key. If you have that plus key, it will open up uh, what you can then add into this surface. So, I'm going to add one of the starter assets um, to begin with, which come with the, the app. So, everything on this uh, is already been it's already been made uh, with some animations and stuff that you can kind of get a go of before you start adding your own things in. Um, so I am going to pick animated uh, and I'm going to pick this jellyfish swimming because it reminds me of something out of War of the Worlds. So if I tap where I want to put the asset, it'll add it in. Now as you can see I can get really close into that. I can even go through it and I can start to look at it from different angles. Right now I'm in edit mode. If you look up at the left hand side, you've got edit and you've got preview. If I go to preview, that's where I can actually film this or take photographs. In edit, I can tap on the asset that I just added into my scene and I can go down the bottom and I can move it about. I can rotate it. I can scale it up and down to make it bigger or smaller. That's massive. So let's make a Let's make it that size. And I can also add behaviours. Now a behaviour is uh, an animation. Um, the behaviours can be stuff like, you can make it rotate, make it flip, but there's also animations that have been programmed into this beforehand. When you click in behaviours, you can add a trigger. And all the trigger means is, uh, if you tap on the object, or as soon as you look at the object, or when you walk close to the object, it'll trigger. The, the animation that you program. So I'm going to hit tap and then go to the action and add in 
what I want it to do. So I'm going to use at the very top the animate, which is some of the animations that have already been programmed. And if I hit the play button, you can see nothing. Oh, there you go. That's the animation. I just hit that tick. And that asset has now been programmed with that, that animation. If I hit preview, I can watch it. And I can tap on it and it'll do it again. If I want to screen record that, when I'm in preview mode, I can just hit the record button and it will record a piece of footage, which I can then upload onto Facebook or YouTube or whatever I'm going to do with it. Let's go back into edit and delete that. So I'm now going to add an image in. So if I go back to add, I can go to my camera roll and I'm going to pick this image that I it had drawn a while ago, which is of like a kind of yokai spray paint can, and I just tap on the screen and I'll insert the asset once it uploads. And there's my picture completely flat, backwards on the back. It's actually really. Kind of crisp, I thought it wouldn't be as crisp as that. But that looks, that looks cool. I can add another behaviour to this. So let's add a trigger uh, and we'll tap and we'll make the action show. Put the duration up. What does show mean? Preview. Ah, so we can reveal it like that when you tap on it. Let's see, we've got behavior wise, trigger, tap, and let's make it rotate 180 degrees. Okay, and let's see what this looks like. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so uh, can you tell I'm enjoying myself? That's amazing. That is so cool. So, you can also uh, export that as a as a file that someone else can open it up and um, and have a look. I'm well impressed with that. I kind of been putting off using this because uh, I just wanted to know exactly how to play something and then get a a proper go here when I was showing people that is so sweet man so you can export this as a, a video file uh, you can take photographs you can export it as a I think it's a dot real file by going up here to the right hand side battery's about to die export as a dot real file which means someone who has that app can open it up and it will open it up into their world view um, which is amazing that's so cool so so that is Adobe uh, Aero um, next lesson what we'll do is we will learn how to make a digital picture uh, using either Adobe Draw, which you can get in Android, or Adobe Fresco, which is the new version for iOS, um, and then put it into the Augmented Reality app so that you can then create your own Augmented Reality scenes. I'm well impressed with that, to be fair. I'm going to have loads of fun coming up with some stuff. And that's it. An introduction to Augmented Reality and how you can start messing about with stuff. There's loads of things in that. There's loads of uh, assets that you can add in straight away. You can add in your own images. There's loads of stuff. It's really simple. It's mapping out the space that you're in, placing it in the map, and then just using those uh, those same commands to edit it and create it into whatever you want to make it, essentially. So, um, thank you very much for watching. 
you can get me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok at Mr Tragic O'Hara. Please subscribe to the channel. Go and join the Facebook group, Lockdown Learning with Tragic O'Hara. Post up what you've made. Um, let us all see it. And you want to learn, post it in there. I'll figure it out and I'll teach you. You can donate to this using the GoFundMe link that's in the description. Um, and that's great. That's 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 that. I think that's it. So I thank you very much for watching. And um, next time we'll do some digital drawing. <laughs>